everybody, I'm Elizabeth from Elizabeth Plants and today I am going to repot a couple of plants while I do the spring tuber tag. I might not get through all of the pen questions while I do this, but I'm going to try my best. If I don't get through them all, I'll write the answers in the description or add it to another video or something. Um, so today there are three plants specifically that I want to repot. I want to combine three Sangonium, uh, repot a Sansevieria, and then I also want to repot my variegated prayer plant um, and add my cuttings. Um, so we're going to start with that because I believe this plant needs the most help right now. Um, if you watch my houseplant tour, then you'll know this one is frequently abused by my cats. Um, I've been catching them laying on it a lot lately. So I've made the decision that I am just going to repot. Um, I'm going to put it into a different pot and then clean out the terracotta one that it's been in. Um, yeah, and add the, the cutting. So first question, have you started spring cleaning slash repotting yet? As of two seconds ago, yes. Um, I never really stopped spring cleaning or repotting per se, um, but I was just more hesitant when I did do repottings, I suppose. Um, so, I mean, yes, but I never really stopped. Um, two, do you stop fertilizing over the winter? Um, and if I did, have I restarted again? I do not stop fertilizing over the winter, however, I do fertilize less frequently. Um, and I'm not really a consistent fertilizer anyways. So I fertilized maybe twice over the winter maybe. Um, and have fertilized once since the weather has begun warming up. And I generally don't, I don't know, just been doing it, I just do it less over the winter. Oh no. So with these guys, I'm just going to kind of put them in where there's some bald spots on the sides. Um, I'm not doing any sort of specific method, but I am putting them kind of on the, the bald edges. Um, what, if any, plants did you lose over this winter? I lost a lot of plants this winter, but I had nothing, well, it, I shouldn't say that. I lost a lot of plants this winter. Um, in one of my videos, I kind of explained that when the heater turned on, it dried out a lot of my plants, like a lot, a lot of my plants. Uh, but that was kind of more fall, I suppose, um, but related to winter because of the weather. And then as far as, like... Over the winter, I lost a lot of plants, not necessarily due to winter, but due to the fact that this winter I have kittens. Um, you can see one right here trying to play in the dirt. She's about to be successful, probably. Um, so, yes and no. I believe that my biggest issue this winter was uh, the heater drying out a lot of my plants before. I realized it not necessarily because it was winter and they went like dormant or couldn't handle the winter or anything like that so user error not plant error um did you order any plants in the mail over the winter if so how did they do yes i did i ordered a um green spaces id plant a bunch of plants from green spaces id over the winter there is two, well, three videos up on my channel um, at this point in time regarding my Green Spaces orders. So I recommend you go check out those videos. Um, the plants primarily survived the winter. I had some minor winter damage and then I had a plant that lost all of its leaves from cold damage. That plant is now doing okay. Simba. 
Maybe do it later. We'll play later. Um, so definitely go check out those videos. I, I have an updated picture of the alocasia that lost all of its leaves in the winter on Instagram. So Instagram is in the description. And this guy is all planted up. I'm going to stick him in uh, my new greenhouse video coming soon uh, for him to kind of hospitalize, I guess. Next, I am going to pot up slash repot this Sansevieria and this little Sansevieria. So I got this in a houseplant shop and just stuck it in this pot and never replanted it. So I'm going to actually plant it up. Um, what are the next plant or plant related purchases on my wish list and will I get them this spring? So I, uh, on my wish list is a, a lot of plants. Um, I have ordered some, uh, and am just a wait in. Um, we'll see. I'm worried about them getting delayed due to the, that which must not be named. Um, and also on my plant wish list was a greenhouse and I ordered that, set it up yesterday from when I'm filming this and you'll see a video probably in a couple weeks um, regarding that greenhouse and hopefully a video regarding my order of wishlist plants. Did I have any life-saving tricks or tools that helped me this winter? Um, no, not really because if my plants died, they like immediately died. And if my plants didn't die, it was just a matter of like regular care. Um, so I do not have any life-saving tips. I did struggle with, and I'm still struggling with spider mites this winter. Um, however, I don't have any tricks for that. I'm still trying to figure it out. Do I put my house plants outside in the summer? No. I don't have access to outdoor space, uh, so I can't, even if I wanted to, put my plants outside in the summer. I can't even open my windows. I just have large, unopenable windows. So no, that's not really an option for me in the summer. As much as I would love to, I would probably put like succulents outside. I'd probably have a vegetable garden if I'm being honest with you. Um, did you have any pest issues over the winter and how did I conquer them? I did. I had and still have spider mites. Um, still working on trying to get rid of them. I got rid of a lot of them, then they came back and then I got rid of a lot of them and just this morning I realized that they came back again. So whatever I'm doing isn't enough and I need to do more research. Um, so I had spider mites, still working on it. None of my plants have died from the spider mites yet though. So I think I'm at least keeping it at bay, if you will. Um, show one plant that thrived all winter. So I'm not gonna show it in this video because I've showed it in a lot of videos recently. Um, but my plant that has thrived this winter is my Albo syngonium, my Albo variegated syngonium. I've showed it in quite a few plants recent or er, videos recently, and it's just it has never stopped growing. I took cuttings this winter and they thrived, and I've already replanted them back in with the parent plant. It's just loving it, and I don't know why, but I'm not going to move it because I don't want it to stop thriving. All right, this is my Sansevieria, all. Pot it up. So I have one more question. So I'm probably going to pot up these last plants on my own time. Um, but the last question is, show one plant you're most excited to see grow this spring. And honestly, I think it is probably any of the plants that I have coming in the mail, but also this guy because he is at about half the size he was when I moved into this apartment. And 
because of the cats, I've really struggled with him, and I'm really, 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 really hoping that he'll do good this spring and that I can find a home for him where my cats can't uh, lay on him. <laughs> so that's kind of the plant I am currently most excited for. That's probably going to change, though. Uh, so stay tuned if I update you on that. Um, but that was the plant tuber tag. I'm not 100% who started it, but videos will be um, linked in the description or channels or whatever will be linked in the description. Thanks for repotting with me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. See you next time.